Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in the 1.16 survival world and today we are going to be working on something on this board. The thing is I'll tell you in just a second but first let's go out here and fly up here. I have got two notes for the turtles as I'm recording this literally not long after that video went up. Um, it hasn't been up that long so we're going to name this one over here um, Leonardo. Um, I'll put on screen that the, who give that name and the other one I don't know how to pronounce this is it Ogway Ugway something like that but I'm gonna name that one Ugway Ogway I don't know how that's pronounced and um, once again I'll put up the name of that uh, who gave that name on the screen right so if you watched last video you'd know that I built a trident farm which is this here I don't know if I've done this on camera but I did change it uh, to two blocks high um, because it wasn't actually working the one block high the portal was on this layer before that was not working the drowns weren't actually going through the portals so I changed two blocks high and I've been AFKing up there in that um, kill in that AFK spot um, 110 blocks exact from that uh, block there and if I go in to the base we have a shulker box somewhere full of items um, it might even be in my ender chest yes it is this is everything we got from it for um, about 12 hours of AFKing the, we, this trident here was three different tridents that I put together to make one uh, repaired one we got gold, nautilus shells and some drown heads don't forget the drown heads is a data pack you cannot get them in vanilla minecraft um, it's a data pack on vanilla tweaks if you uh, would like the data pack. So I can actually make a Nautilus shell now. Which I can do in the crafting table. Uh, one of them and eight of them. Nautilus shell did I say? Now a conduit I mean. So we will put that conduit somewhere near the base. But that is not what we're working on in today's video. What we're working on is a witch farm. I have already built the witch farm. Um, well part of it. I'll show you that time lapse now.
So guys, now that you've seen that time lapse, there is the witch farm. It does not look pretty and I know that. It looks like a horrendous mess. Um, and I am aware of that. I'm not making it look good first. I want to make it look uh, actually work before decorating it. Because if it don't work, then I've wasted a lot more time decorating it as well. I FK'd here, up here, um, just after I finished the time lapse. Just as if mobs would spawn. Once again, it's about 105 to 10 blocks above uh, the top layer here. And I got a couple of witches. I also got some other mobs. So I'm going to have to figure out how to... Okay. There's some here, which is a good thing. Um, I thought I disabled it from spawning. Yeah, I don't know how to make like skeletons, creepers and that not spawn here. I'm going to have to try and see about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... Um, the kill chamber and the uh, the kill chamber and all that and I'll be back in a second once I've done so right so guys as you can see I'm in spectate mode and there's loads of dots around they are uh, a data pack that shows me where mobs can spawn when I'm standing uh, as you can see on that block there that says center so I've done the kill chamber which is sending them up from down there all the way up 24 blocks above my FK spot, which will then drop them down here, and I can either kill them manually or I can put a magma block there and kill them. But what this is showing is the red dots here, mobs cannot spawn there because they're too close. The orange dots on the outer ring here uh, are mobs that can spawn because obviously it's the reach limit, what, 24 blocks, uh, 120 or 100 and whatever blocks is far enough away. So mobs can spawn in, there's a skeleton horse there, mobs can spawn in like this whole area here. So that even means I need to remove it, water over it, or make it spawn proof, which is done by, uh, what, water logs, slabs, buttons, uh, stuff like that. Um, why have I gone really slow all of a sudden? There you go, right, I'm going fast again. But yeah, so what I need to do is go around and just remove all of these little islands here they're uh, stopping mobs this is going to be the hardest part oh i didn't know mobs could actually spawn up here water logging it would probably be the best thing um same with all this over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly water over all this and slab it all over and i'll be back once i've done that right so guys i have lit up um not lit up made all that spawn proof as you can see i literally just spammed water Everywhere, all that over there, mobs can't spawn in. Neither can that. And you can see where they can spawn. I have watered over. That is literally, I was literally just panicking, spamming water buckets everywhere because I haven't got long until this video has to actually be up. So I wanted to get it done. But as you can see, there's water everywhere. I don't want it, it don't need to look nice. So I don't really care about that. But at least the witch farm is working. All I need to do now is do it so only witches can spawn up here. Because at the moment any mobs can spawn and come up here to die. So I need to do find a way of manipulating it so only witches can spawn down there. And I'll do that after this video. Uh, I'm going to AFK it overnight. And you'll see me in the next video and you'll know how much loot we've got. I'll quickly build a storage system and all that um, off camera. But... Yeah, so that is actually going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to AFK it overnight and I'll see you guys in the next video and show you how much loot we got from this farm. Hopefully a lot of redstone and a lot of uh, bottles because they're the two things we need. But if you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget the link for the Discord will be in the description down below. I will also link uh, the Vanilla Tweaks website so you can get that uh, spawning uh, data pack if you would like it. Um, and also, there are some other uh, data packs. Most data packs I use, I do actually get off um, Vanilla Tweaks. Because they've got some good data packs on there. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.